so sorry for the bazillion videos I'm making in a short period of time. Um, but I really wanted to get those um, impatient videos out in case, you know, you guys are considering it or if you wanted to know more about it. Um, you know, and they're not too exciting, but they have the information there that you need. So I hope they're okay for you. Um, I just thought I'd make a little update on how I'm doing. Um, yes, I did dye my hair. I didn't mention that and someone asked. Uh, but yes, my hair is a little more red, and I got it cut, so it's always nice. It makes me feel better about myself. Every time I get my hair cut, I'm like, oh, I feel pretty again. Um, so let's see, what else has happened? Um, oh yeah, the interview went really well. It was actually super short. Like, I went into this interview because the last interview I had was an hour and a half long, and she asked me all these really hard, deep questions that I was not prepared for. So this time around, I was so anxious because I was thinking, oh no, what if this is another like hour and a half interview? And I went online and I researched about the company and I, um, <laughs> I read a bunch of interview questions and answered them. Um, like really hard ones, like, you know, well, I guess this isn't hard, but for me it kind of is. It's like, you know, what are your strengths and weaknesses? Like, you know, what do you do in this kind of situation? And so I was like all ready to be like hammered with these hard questions. And I wasn't at all. It was like so simple. It was a 20 minute interview and pretty much they just talked about the company and what to expect and what my job would be like. And like they had like several other interviews with other people, but apparently like no one was as cool as me. So I'm a little nervous. I was kind of half hoping that I didn't get the job just because I'm nervous <laughs> and it's something new and I'm afraid I'm not going to catch on right away. But I'm pretty excited, I think. Um, I start in two weeks. I start on September 7th. So I'm going to Seattle next week to see a friend of mine from treatment. Nicole, I love you and miss you if you're watching. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to Seattle for about a week and then I start my new job. And yeah, it's like, ah, crazy. Um, the hours will be dependable, nine to five kind of job, um, five days a week. And I have weekends off, and so that's always nice. I'm not working around food and drink, and it won't be, like, as stressful as Starbucks, I don't think. I'll let you know. Um, but it doesn't seem like it will be. So I think this is the like, kind of job that I need right now, because if I went back to Starbucks, I don't think that would be a good idea right now. So, yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, I got the job. Yay. Um, yeah. So... The past few days, I haven't been doing too good. Yesterday was a bit better, um, but I keep, I don't know, I don't know. I think I do need a job because then I think too much and then I let my eating disorder talk to me and talk me into doing things that I shouldn't do and I know I shouldn't do, so I just need to cool it and make myself busy with something and yeah. Um, yeah, let's see, what else is new? Nothing much, this is going to be a short video. I just wanted to let you know, guys know that I got the job. I'm so excited. Ah, oh, and, um, the videos, or the videos, sorry, um, the songs that you guys mentioned, um, I definitely, like, went on iTunes and totally spent a bunch of money on new songs because you guys picked some pretty awesome songs, um, and if you didn't watch my last video, um, pretty much what I'm saying is, um, there's certain songs that you can really, really relate to your eating disorder, um, and usually they're kind of about relationships and breaking up and abusive relationships and stuff, but there's all sorts of songs out there, and I find it so helpful to find music that helps me feel how I need to feel and express how I feel about my eating disorder, because there's not like, you know... I don't know. There is stuff out there that helps you express how you feel towards your eating disorder, but um, I don't know. I mean, it's not like everyone has one, so not everyone understands what it's like, and so anyway, that was a weird tangent. Um, but yeah, I, let's see. Um, I wish I had my iPod, um, but I got, crap, Golding, someone like 
Emily Golding, is that her name? Anyway, I bought all of her songs because they're really great for cardio and I like them. Um, My Skin, I don't remember who sings it. This is bad. I need to like write it down. I'm sorry. Um, spur of the moment. <laughs> um, and there's a bunch of other songs. There's a song by Alanis Morissette, um, Mary Jane or something, and then there's another song that has a name, it's someone's name. I don't remember. I'm sorry, guys. Failure. Um, but I remembered some of the other songs that really helped me express how I feel towards my eating disorder. Um, let's see. One of them, if you want something kind of more angrier and like, you know, F you eating disorder, you messed up my life. <laughs> um, you should listen to Hollywood Undead. Um, yes, Hollywood Undead, um, Black Dahlia. That one is the song that I always relate to my eating disorder. And whenever I'm really pissed off at my eating disorder, I put that on and I rap with him and everything. But you guys should listen to it. Very good song. Um, and then, I don't know if you've heard of the band Red. Um, their older CD, pretty much every song on there can relate to your eating disorder. But um, in particular, uh, Break Me Down, um, uh, Confession, What's Inside My Head, The Fight Inside, Fight Inside by Red. Listen to that. Very good. Um, yeah, and there's some other songs like Sia, um, S-I-A, uh, Breathe Me. Everyone kind of knows that song, I think, and it's a great song towards your eating disorder. Um, also, My Love by Sia. Like, I don't know. I just have, I like that song, okay? I just like it. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's pretty much not it, but all I can remember right now. Um, oh yeah, I got underwear. Okay, so like, okay, sorry. <laughs> the thing that always makes me happy and always like, it's like a little treat to myself is buying underwear. And I pretty much don't need any more underwear because I probably have enough to last me a lifetime. But every time I'm just feeling like, you know, I need to feel better about myself, I go and buy underwear. American Eagle or Victoria's Secret and it's so cute it's like you know dink, dink, dink. and wait let me show you a really cool one this is floral yeah who shows their underwear on a YouTube video I do <laughs> and this one's kind of fun anyway so I was happy underwear always makes me happy I know that sounds really weird underwear and socks like seriously I love buying socks like that's another thing I don't need anything more of. I do not need more socks, but it's almost fall. It means it's going to get cold and I can buy more socks. I'm so excited. Ah! Um, yeah, and so, in other news. Hmm, nothing really. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything. <laughs> Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you for your comments. Um, let me know if there's anything else specifically that you want me to make a video about, um, because I will do that. I plan to make a video about residential because it's very different than inpatient and, um, I don't know. It might be a good idea for some people. It's more challenging. I like it. Um, yeah. So, nothing else really new right now. Um... I'm staring at something awkwardly because I've never made a video in this spot and you guys would be super proud of me um, because I have stacked three CD cases and put my phone on it against this wooden thing so it stays straight. I'm amazing. Took a lot of balancing skills just to let you know. But yeah, okay. This is my pig named Carl. I made him um, when I was crap 15 and he's a piggy bank. And, yeah, I made him, and he's all clay and stuff, and I filled him up with quarters. Like, I never put anything in here besides quarters, and I cannot put one more quarter in here because it's so full of quarters, and it's, like, super heavy. I could probably do a workout with this thing, let me tell you. Anyway, for years, I've really wanted to break Carl open and see how much money is inside of Carl. And it's kind of sad because I don't want to, you know, break him, but I think I'm going to do it soon. So... You guys want to guess how much is in Carl in quarters? He's kind of one third of my head. That gives you an idea of how big he is. Guess how much is in him because I'm gonna break him soon and I'll let you know. So anyway, um, yeah, this is a really random video. I love you guys. Okay, bye.